Get out of here. Three dollars. Okay. I think I had a. Maybe I. Oh, I think I was supposed to hand you this one. Sorry. Checking out today or coming back? Checking out. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Y'all had a free parking pass. I handed him the wrong parking pass. And I was not about to pay $30. Now I need to figure out how to get home. Cause I, I'm, one, I'm at a red light, so I can't go. I just need to immediately type in my address. Not Tijuana, I want my address. Oh, now it's green. Fuck my life. Okay, we're 30 minutes away, cool. Oopsie. really clean in here. You guys, it's been so cloudy in California. There, there is some blue today, but the last four days it has just been cloud central. <laughs> Shit, this tripod sucks. Ew. Hello guys. So, um, I just got back from a hotel in Long Beach, which is like 30 minutes from here because we went to the hotel where all the flight attendants who land at LAX stay. So Hunter was meeting up with his coworkers who flew in because they're going on a work trip for a couple days. But yesterday they were all staying at this hotel in Long Beach. So I was like, hey, free night at a hotel. Might as well come too. So Hunter left this morning with them to fly to New York, San Francisco, all the fun places. And I drove back from the hotel to the apartment where it is just me. I'm alone. And you guys seem to enjoy last time that I vlogged in California alone. I decided that I would do it again. It is Tuesday morning. Hunter gets back tomorrow night. So we have a full not 48 hours, but somewhere in between 24 and 48 hours. We're gonna have together alone. Are you excited? Yeah, I just drove back from the airport. It was a super fun airport. Not the airport, the hotel. The airport hotel, I guess it's kind of where all of Anyway, I don't really have any plans. We're just gonna hang. I'm just gonna stay here so I don't spend any money. If you don't know, I've been kind of like halfway living here and halfway in Utah. I feel like I say this in every video that I've filmed this year. Here is Living Alone in LA, part two. Almost a year later. That's insane. It's almost been a year since I filmed that video. Since then, I can definitely say that I'm more used to living in California now. Like, I kind of know my way around more than I did last time. Last time I was a newbie. I don't have to use a GPS everywhere where I'm around, you know? We've kind of gotten to that point, so that's exciting. Last time I filmed Living Alone in LA, I did almost burn this apartment down by making spaghetti tacos. I'm just gonna like... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So that's funsies. We're not gonna do that today, I promise. Firstly, let's discuss how my plan, it's like dead, you guys. But the thing is, I got this plan at, well, I don't know if it was Home Depot, I think it might have been. And I was just like, this is the one. I need to take you home with me. And I did. It was like already halfway dead when I got it. I'm honestly surprised that you're still here thriving today. As you can see, some ends are crusty. They're not doing the best, but I believe in you. There's a lot of glitter right here on the floor. So much glitter. First things first. We have our sugar-free coconut Red Bull. And then we need to take in account that I have not eaten today and it is almost 1 p.m. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this chicken that I meal prepped. I'm gonna take a bag of quinoa and rice and I'm gonna make a sexy chicken bowl. I've been doing this a lot lately. It's really easy, like I didn't do this this time, but usually I'll cook all the rice. And all you literally have to do is put it in the microwave. So it's super easy. And then put it in a big bowl, put it in the fridge. And I also cook a bunch of chicken that's cubed up and then put that in a bowl. 
And then whenever I want a chicken bowl for the next week or so, I just have to heat both of them up and then put whatever like vegetables, condiments, or anything I'd like in the bowl. And it's so good. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna watch an episode of Dr. Phil because my friend Allie Nelson, hi Allie, you're probably not watching this. She's in it um, and it's about TanaCon and she fights with Michael Weist. Weist in it. So I'm excited to watch that. And I'm gonna watch that while eating my sexy chicken rice bowl. Okay, the bowl is done. Now it's my favorite part. Is shaking. Gotta give the nice bowl salad rice thing a good shake. And luckily, I got these bowls from Target a few days ago because they're perfect for like a nice little salad bowl, you know? And a lid that was already here fits it almost perfectly. It's a little too small, so it takes a while to get on the get that wasn't words to get it on there. And it's perfect for shaking. Are we ready? Like this is my favorite part. Oh yeah. Just look at it go. Oh my god. Do you guys see? Oh my god, that's so sexy. Just look at it go around in there. Oh yeah. That is sexy, you guys. Now we're gonna take, oh my god. This goddamn tripod, I'm telling you. Now we're gonna take it off. Ugh. And now our salad is done and ready to be eaten. Usually I just have rice and the chicken, but lately I've been adding this spinach as well. Our lunch is ready to go. Let's do a little taste test. I mean, I already know it's gonna taste good. Mm. Oh wait, I think I forgot sour cream. I usually just squeeze a lemon as my dressing and then some nice sriracha. And let me tell you, this year I've grown a massive love for feta cheese. Oh my. Feta cheese just makes everything so much better. Like incredible. Crack open a nice Red Bull. Oh. oh yeah. I've gotten so many people hooked on Coconut Red Bull. I'm waiting for the sponsorship. That's all I have to say. My shoes are still on, why? We need to relax. That is more like it. <gasps> oh my God, it just came up on the TV, so that's why I thought of it. I watched Final Destination 3 yesterday. I haven't seen any of the Final Destinations and I got attacked for it. So we rented it a couple days ago. Hunter and Bianca said that Final Destination 3 was one of their favorites, so we watched that one. And I'll say, it was so stressful and good. So I'm definitely gonna watch the other ones. Mm. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my- why isn't the remote working? You guys, the remote's not working. It's working outside the YouTube app. I'm just gonna put it on my phone and airplay it to the TV. Yes. And then once everything- Dr. Happened, Phil is so funny. I like just looking at his face. Colors on Vine, Vine exactly. That's so I was already like, no one recognized. She did, so Sydney went out. It wasn't you, it was Sydney. The first time, and then at the end, when, like, the official came. But I'm not here to relive the past or talk to you about those kind of things. Um, he I'm said, like, my goal is that <laughs> I'm not here to relive the past. But he's on Dr. Phil, talking about the past. Obviously, I blew it. I didn't. <laughs> For this. Mr. Phil kills me. Jackson! Love Jackson. So nice. Well, Allie, thanks for being here. We don't have you ostracized out here. This is social distancing. Okay. So we got you out there on purpose. I'm far away from you. Yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What an icon. Thank you. 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 Thank
which is all of this. So I can go through these and put them right here where the music is, right? And I've kind of gotten like this far. But let me just scroll. I have two hours, two hours and 23 minutes of footage that I chose. Like that's not even the total amount of footage I filmed last year, obviously. That's just the amount from all the clips that I went through and selected and moved over here from over here. That's a lot of clips. And I feel like Tyra Banks going through them all and being like, you are being selected to be in the 2020 montage, you know? And I feel bad for the poor clips that I have to send home back into their folders on my external hard drive. But I'm trying my best to equally select perfect clips. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. This is what I plan on doing for basically the rest of the day. I just really start drinking more water. I haven't been, I've been drinking a lot of soda lately. Mm. It is now nighttime, it is 7.40, and I'm hungry again. So, I grabbed out the air fryer, and I put a lot of pizza rolls in there. And we're just gonna pop this bad boy back where it goes, connected to the air fryer. And we're gonna have some pizza rolls for dinner. I honestly don't know how to work this thing. We're gonna just do 400. She's going, I guess, I don't know. Just like that, we are done, my friends. I'm gonna watch Ponyo. It's just such a peaceful movie. I'm gonna put it on while editing to finish off this nice, chill, vibey night alone. Ponyo is now over and I now am watching Pitch Perfect. And it's now 10 p.m. Time just flies by when you're editing. It was just three o'clock. We played the Cobb Energy for Premier Arts Center, you bitch. I made more food. I made chicken dumpling soup. And tonight I just wanted to announce my love for pepper shakers. I might have said this previously on my channel. Like, just shaking it and watching it fall into the soup. So sexy and amazing. Like one of my favorite things in the world. How can you not love it? I also just tried this PB&J snack thing from Trader Joe's. So good. It was actually my first time at Trader Joe's. And I think I want to do a Trader Joe's taste test haul of just like a bunch of snacks from Trader Joe's. When I went in there, it was not what I was expecting at all, but I loved it. Speaking of taste tests, let's see how the soup is. It's good, it's good. I could totally be a troublemaker. Good morning. I had a very nice slumber. Um, it is 10 a.m. and I just booked a gym reservation because I didn't work out yesterday. So here we are. I guess let's go to the gym. smelling. I can smell the salty boy right under my nose. So I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna make my hair less frizzy. And then I probably should find something to eat, right? 
It's already almost 12 o'clock, you guys. That's insane. Time's just flying by. Always. It's always flying by. Can it stop? We have the Olivia Rodrigo sour shirt on, but I'm having trouble on if I want to go with these tan pants or these white pants. You're gonna fall. The tan ones, they would be nice, but also I've never worn the white ones with like an outfit before. I like just recently got them and I just used them for a photo shoot. So I don't know, I'll try them on. <laughs> Hair is acting really frizzy today. I don't know why. It makes my shoes that I thought were actually pretty clean for having them for over a year. It makes them look pretty dirty because my pants are so white. I do think I'm gonna go with the white ones. One, because trying new things. Come on, you know? Let's have some fun trying new things. And also, these fit very loosely, like perfectly and nice, whereas the tan ones, they're very tight around my waist, so it's like, oh! A lot of times lately, I have the crisis of, would I like this better if my hair was different? You know, because sometimes I think outfits look better better when I, with short hair than long hair. And it makes me have a hair crisis every single day. Or am I just being a bitch? Cause some people love my long hair. Some people, they don't loudly express their hate for it, but they definitely hate it secretly. So, it's not too bad, I guess. I don't know. Now that we've contemplated our life decisions for a few hours, it's now one o'clock. I'm not eating one thing today. I don't know what I should eat either. I can't make avocado toast because I used my last avocado for the bowl yesterday. And I don't really want to make a bowl because out of avocado, all I would have is cucumber. And that's not a very fun, pleasing bowl. And I don't want to go and spend money on something because I'm broke. <laughs> I don't know guys. I can make like an egg. Ooh, do I have yogurt and granola? Even though it's 1 p.m., it's more of like a breakfast food, but it could be my breakfast that I haven't eaten today. Or do I have some of this potato salad? The yogurt is from Trader Joe's. It's a Greek honey yogurt, which would be nice. I love granola, but it really just depends on if I want something sweet or salty. But I also would not be able to put anything inside of the yogurt and granola, because all I have are these strawberries that I actually need to throw away. Maybe not. Yeah, there's mold on them. Okay, let's let's do the yogurt and granola. Here we have it, folks. I definitely like a lot of granola, just for that crunchy feel. Not bad, it'd be better with some fruit, you know? We don't have that. As I eat my granola and yogurt, I'm going to try this new oat milk. I actually got it like a couple weeks ago. I usually get the California Fernia Farms one? I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna make a little at-home chai latte. I haven't done this in a long time. Like, is this even, a, like this might be expired to be quite honest. Oh, <laughs> October 19th, we are fine. I'm gonna see if this oat milk is better than the one I normally use or much worse. Up to about the oat milk good shake. Doesn't really have a distinct smell. Looks creamy. Watch it just drizzle down. It's focusing on Olivia. We don't want that. Focus on the chai. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Really good. I mean, I really haven't had a homemade chai latte in a while, so I don't really know how to pick or choose what one I like better. So all of that was kind of pointless, wasn't it? I mean, they're both good. Um, my yogurt and oats. It just wasn't really appetizing to me. And I definitely did not finish it. I finished my chai though. At least that was good. I don't know, I just- I don't feel super like appetizing. Appetized? So that's a bummer. For the rest of this afternoon, I'm probably gonna continue editing. And then at around 6-ish, 6 6.30, I'm driving to LAX to pick up Hunter. And then I'm gonna meet up with my friend Isaac. Airplane. Wow. I hear poker face by Lady Gaga playing right now. Who has the ox? another airplane.
so bored. <laughs> I've just been sitting here just staring for like an hour. And it's like I have this like weird anxious feeling and it's like, ew, go away. <sighs> and I like could just like sit here and edit like, oh, that just sounds exhausting right now. My brain's just like, ugh. At least my spread's still cold that I haven't touched in an hour. I don't know what to do until six. I heard the water or the Sprite because I haven't been drinking any water. God, I probably should. I'm just swishing around my stomach. I actually might head up to LA a little bit earlier than I was planning. Ooh, I also have to think about traffic. So when would be a good time to leave? Ew, I'm gonna have to drive in LA. <laughs> That's gross. So I have a dilemma. Isaac finished at the studio early, so I could really go right now. And I'm supposed to pick up Hunter at LAX. West Hollywood is past LAX, so I would have to go back down to LAX, pick up Hunter. If I drove all the way up there, then all the way back down, then we'd have to kind of like drive back up to like if we want to go do something, and then back down to drive home all the way here when we're done. I got a hoodie in case it gets cold for later tonight. I decided to go with this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one to kind of have like an all white type of fit. I haven't seen how it looks on though. All white fits are fun sometimes, right? And I do, I think it's gonna get cold because it's been really cold in California recently. Okay. Kind of vibing with this in the mirror. Hold on. Kind of, kind of vibing with it. Honestly, might just put it on right now. JK, I'm gonna be sweating while driving because I'm stressed. About LA traffic. I've just been standing here like waddling around until it's time to go. So I have nothing else to do. I'm so bored. I'm gonna leave it around 5.30. I'm gonna pick up Hunter first. I don't wanna do all that extra driving. The more and more that I look at the GPS, the more and more the time goes up. It is now an hour and one minute to LAX. So I'm gonna head out now. I saved my daily Red Bull. Oh my God, I only have two left. <gasps> I saved my daily Red Bull for now because I'm gonna need it on this awful drive. Let's go. I can make my hair flap like a bird. Like just imagine it like flying in the wind. Okay, let's go. Let's go to LAX. <laughs> yeah. Starting route to Los Angeles International Airport. Yay. I have been on the road for 10 minutes now. It's taking me like just random ass streets because it doesn't want me to go on the freeway because traffic is that bad. So I'm just going through like 5,000 different neighborhoods. Not even like close to a freeway because they're like, the freeway's bad. And I'm not super mad at that. Oh my God, yes, Tay Tay. I will say, wherever this route is taking me, it's a really pretty route. There's a lot of nice big green pine trees. Oregon vibes. A lot of just greenery. It's crazy how the world works, and less than 35 miles away, it's just pure, piss-smelling, gray buildings. But I guess the world didn't start out that way. So it's not really the world's fault. It's society in the world. We're close to getting on the freeway, though, you guys, in 1.6 miles. Finally gonna make it to hell. <laughs> This is disgusting! Disgusting! Uh, no! Life is not a highway. This highway is awful. If life is a highway, then I really hope it's not this one. Can I get in, Dusty? Oh my god, let me in. Please, please, please. Fuck! No! I hate this. <laughs> Hunter best be driving after I pick him up because I don't know if I can deal with this the rest of the night. Moving at a good 15 miles an hour. Not too bad. Make that 10 miles an hour. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to 10, we're getting close to five. <laughs> oh, I should just stop talking. I'm still in the far right lane, so that's not good. Thank you. Yeah, we moved away! Woohoo! Look at us go, I'm driving in LA. You bitches wish you were me. You're not though. <laughs> that's right, bitch. We made it! I've never driven alone to LAX before. So this is slightly terrifying. Yeah, yeah it is. But this is honestly the worst part. 
What the fuck does that mean? Why did that just beep? I'm scared. Oh, I just got a text from Hunter. Hopefully he's here. Hunter's waiting for his bag. This is perfect timing. Everything's going great. I just need to get to the Delta terminal, which I don't think I've passed yet. Hopefully not. That would be awful. Okay, Hunter got his bag. I just don't know where I am right now. It says I'm in P4 American, but does it, have I passed the Delta terminal? <laughs> I didn't see a sign. Hawaiian JetBlue Spirit, where's Delta? Where's Delta Airlines? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I passed it and I'm gonna have to go around. FML. Oh wow, the sun's blinding me. I'm returning, I'm returning at the airport. I did it correctly. Apparently it's terminal two. I just, I did not see that. Um, so that's scary. We got this, you guys. I honestly don't know if I do got it though because I cannot see anything and you can either. What, say brought, say brought out here. Oh, it does say Delta next terminal. <laughs> I'm just stupid. What was that cop sign for? Was that for me? I really don't have time to be arrested right now. <laughs> oh, life is so hard. 2K, I see 2K. Oh my God. Oh, there he is, okay. I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> I am Delta. Did you say I am? Look at LA guys. Disgusting. Me not knowing how to parallel park, so Hunter has to do it for me. <laughs> he did that flawlessly. I'm the absolute worst. Okay, PSA. Okay. You can be a barb and also listen to Radiohead. Okay. Hey YouTube world. We're going to an escape, oh it's so blurry. <laughs> we're going to an escape room and it's called Spaceship and we're trying to blast back to Earth before the time runs out. And I'm super excited. We're not gonna make it out. That's what we said last time though when we made it. Oh, I look better like this anyways. <laughs> So we failed the escape room, yeah. but the lady said that we had gotten the farthest out of everyone who's gone there since they reopened. So we should be pretty proud of ourselves. I feel incredible. Yeah, it was so fun. It was fun. And now we're going to a 24 hour cafe. Hunter and Sebastian are in the other car. It's called Crave. Crave. So we're going to Crave. Yeah. Super fun, super thrilling. But we did, we did lose yeah. the escape room. I know. We got sent away. Or no, we didn't get launched back to no, Earth. We we're just trapped in the galaxy. It was really fun. Fun. What yeah. was the place called? Uh, I the, they wanted a shout out. The, oh my god. LA. Something LA. Ah, what was it? Let me do a quick search. The room. The room. The, the room. room LA. Very good. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Fuck. It's still going. We finally made it to Crave. Me and Isaac ended up taking a 15 minute detour because Hunter sent me the wrong Crave. But then they also just disregarded the GPS anyways and followed some random Jeep. Well, no, I was still kind of like, I was near it. But, like I thought you guys were like finding some like perfect parking, you know? Yeah, no, it wasn't on us. We were, he called me, he's like, um, are we following you? And I was like, we're yeah. in the parking lot. Cause Sebastian has a black Jeep. I started following a black Jeep. I was like, oh, it's them. And then I told Isaac, I'm like, imagine we're following the wrong Jeep. And then I called Hunter and we were following the literal wrong Jeep. But we made it and Hunter got cheesecake. No. It's fun. Well, yeah. not anymore. It used to be cool, and everyone's <laughs> like, wait, we hate this. Oh, But it's fine, because I'm not busy. Hi. Oh, is it still recording? Is it? How do you zoom? Whoa. Wow. It is crystal clear. That's crazy. What was their cake? The escape room with spaceship? Yeah. Like, come on. I, did you see what's going on with aliens? It's, they're fucking real. They've been seeing UFOs and they finally are confirming it. They did a whole 60 I'm so excited. I literally want to be in We're gonna get broken into in the middle of the night and the government's gonna come take this video. <laughs> Deadass, I've always had this fantasy of me like- Hug your cake. 
actually you okay? Did and you say not good? It's okay. <laughs> Trying to set you up somewhere where you won't fall. We made it back home. Only a 38 minute drive. That was nice. MD freeways. That was such a fun night. Such a blast. Pretty night out tonight. It's also 1 a.m. I'm not alone in LA anymore. My camera's hanging on the ledge right now. And considering I just broke my last camera because it was on a golf cart and it fell, that scares me. Look at the moon. I also didn't set anything on the fire this time. So let's celebrate that. Wow. Bye.